What's up guys, it's your boys Wokey back with another scary, creepy, all around terrifying video from MindCTV. We've been waiting for like a month and a half and we finally got another one from MindCTV, but this one's definitely very intriguing because it's called I Touched the Real Life Annabelle Doll. Big mistake. And the weird thing is, it doesn't look like the Annabelle doll. Is there more than one? We're going to find out with watching MindSeed TV's newest video. So grab a chair, grab some popcorn. As we see MindSeed TV, or the group of MindSeed, or the pair, it's the pair now, not the group, of them touching a Annabelle doll. Big mistake, very scary. Let's take a look. If you guys are new to my channel, if you guys are returning and have not subscribed yet, make sure you guys subscribe right now by hitting that red bar icon down the bottom right. Smack the bell icon next to it so when I do post videos like this one, you'll get that little ring notification that Zwoki myself has posted that video. And then you guys can watch, comment, like, and share. And again, thank you so very much for the people that are on this channel doing what you guys do. Subscribing, commenting, liking, sharing, watching. I can't thank you guys enough. Keep doing what you guys are doing. We'll continue together to grow in 2022 into 2023. Speaking of growth, check out the link in the description for MindCTV for them to go to these places and and investigate. Definitely takes time out of their busy schedule and all the work that they do. Definitely we want to give some love back to them. So make sure you guys go over there, give them some love. And without further ado, let's watch the I Touch the Real Life Annabelle doll. Big mistake. Very scary. The Haunted Hinsdale? Hinsdale? House. Take a look. So Jesus the House is known to be one of the most haunted Ooh. homes in the entire state of New York. Picture it looks creepy. That are people are having there. The whole house itself has this like energy that comes off of it. They tried to have the house exercise. Yes. Hello, hello. There is a negative spirit. He has attacked many people. Yeah. This kind of Annabelle type doll it says, uh, do not open or, or touch. touch. So it's an Annabelle like doll. Are you a demon? I want that device that they have. Oh. It's not just one area of this home that has got this crazy energy going on. It's literally acres, hundreds Is of Is that a whole bunch of. Bunch of Dream catchers? That's ah, a creepy basement. Is that the toy? Oh, I can't wait. Warning, your discretion is advised. That's a creepy house. Hinsdale House, New York. Up. Oh. Okay. Slow bug knows like bug knows. Cool. Everything's good. How Psychic long have medium. you personally been dealing with this house? Since it happened in the 70s. It was in all the papers. This was a really unheard of thing in 1974. So even in the 70s, this was like yes. well known to be a Oh, absolutely. Location. Wonder if Ed and Lorraine yeah. had been there. It was so exciting because like these things weren't out in public at all. They weren't, to be honest. The initial family that lived here noticed all sorts of stuff going on and they tried to have the house exercised. Yes. Now, I have been here and witnessed the house shake like it had its own um, we witnessed earthquake. Stuff like, we witnessed stuff like that. Yeah. Well. Interesting. Look, there's bars. The window in the living room on this side was absolutely black with flies. Oh, wow. Bro. No heat That's source. Crazy. Demonic. No food source. They were dive bombing our heads. They were like, how are these alive even? They have mesh Do you steel on the windows. an evil presence by any source? A lot of people come in and say there is a negative spirit. Okay. He has attacked many people. Really? He said his name is Friedrich, and he plans Friedrich. on attacking a woman. If you look close, you can see scratches yeah, down scratch. her neck Jeez. and choke marks under the neck. This was a split oh, yeah. second. This is up in the woods. The woods terrify me. I could there see is something. Head, arms. Yes. What is that? There has been three murders okay. <sighs> in those me. woods. Here's where the two murders were. And then um, in the woods, the brother murdered his brother, Whoa. shot and killed him. 
At the top of the path, there's the giving tree. People leave um, coins, crucifix, sage, dream catchers, all kinds of gifts for okay. the Okay, that's why we saw that. Literally translates into creature that shoots poison arrows. You can see him peeking around the giving tree. What? Oh, gosh. He has very distinct... <laughs> Um, this this is what his print looks like. like I've three. seen the print. print. Three in a palm. So the woods are just creepy. That's really oh, okay. what I wanted to share. Interesting. Season 5, Part 2. Absolute Darkness. I like the darkness because it's, it's very comfy to sleep in. That's creepy though. Hinsdale at 1026. So about a month. Oh, no. no. That looks like, uh, Two weeks. Like almost a month. That might be like um, an outside property camera or something. So when we pulled up to the house to start the investigation, we were reminded of the exact words that were used to describe it at night, which is absolute darkness. And it is absolute darkness up there. Up there? Oh. Is it cold? Is it cold? No, it shouldn't be cold there right now. We really wanted to investigate this place and see for ourselves if whatever was in this location would be willing to communicate with us. It's pretty chilly out. Yeah, That's true. I mean, it was pretty so cold in Minnesota. If it does attack us, it's going to hurt 10 times more. All right, so let's just show the viewers as soon as you enter the Hinsdale house. Nice big prison style gate. And they don't want anybody getting in. Let's go. Hello, oh, that hello. scared me already. So nobody lives in here right now, right? Or do they? First walking into the house, uh, I could definitely feel like a very heavy, almost sinister kind of vibe going in there. So we are here. To Looks do like they live there. And we're going to do a walkthrough with this EMF detector. Whatever spirits may be present. I, I love the fridge. <laughs> and if you could come close to us. Oh, gosh. Couches from the 50s. And we'll go off. And it'll let us know that you're here. Oh, oh my There's gosh. All those dolls. display case with a doll in it. Glass enclosure, magnetic latch. And Casey says, it says, do not open, do not touch. Oh, this is the section earlier. That was mentioned uh, with this kind of Annabelle type doll in the case. Oh mm -hmm. gosh! It says, uh, "Do not open or touch." Management, thank you. Hmm. So leave her alone. Oh, look at her eye. That there was like a couple fires here, and I guess the the dolls made it out. Or <laughs> see what this doll looks like. Oh, oh my gosh! Look at the eye. It's missing an eye. There was like two dolls inside of it. One of them had like a, a missing eye. Oh, that was like rolled back. It's a trip. You think I should, uh... I heard it. Him being him, he decides to open the door. I you don't think idiot. that was a good idea. I was advising against it. You can even hear me on camera saying, I don't know, man. At your own risk. It literally says, do not you touch. At your own risk. And of course, is he... He's like, I'm not gonna touch it. Oh, look. Is it open? It is. Oh, this should have sealed it with wax. You mother trucker. Instantly, I kind of felt like I probably shouldn't have done that. Say I think that probably I was doing should have listened. <laughs> For curiosity's sake and also like the viewer's sake, I said, all right, you know, nobody, nobody's supposed to touch this doll. So I'm going to go ahead and touch it right now to show people that, uh, you know, maybe this isn't a thing. If you had, if it, oh gosh. You. If there's anything attached to this item, would you be willing to communicate with us tonight in a respectful manner? Yeah, he, he done. Okay. 
Well, that's that. That was a bad idea. Just saying. If you, see, if you see my eyes roll to the back of my head, try at any it, point. Try, try it with the EMF detector. Oh, that's true. Oh, that's a good idea too, huh? Dude, I'm not gonna lie. My hand feels weird. Like within two minutes, my hand started cramping, which was very, very odd. <laughs> yeah, like cramping, like crampy. Yeah. That's, that's that probably old age. age. Like, like sore. Arthritis. Mm. Dead ass. Needs more it's vitamin D. Like from my pinky to my thumb, kind of sore. I didn't feel any pain in it throughout the day earlier, but after I touched the doll, I started cramping up, which I found kind of weird. It did warn you, okay? <laughs> All right, we'll see. It did it say don't video. touch. Yeah. Also, weird. I noticed that there are some trigger objects in here. There is. Like. Oh yeah. More wind chimes. Mm hmm. So maybe possibly if there is something here that's trying to communicate with us. It's kind of a smart idea for a ghost thing. Use the items in your home. We've heard that this is the couch where the exorcism was performed at. In the 1970s, the owners of the home had an exorcism performed in the house itself in attempts to cleanse it. We were told that the couch in the living room began to shake violently back and forth. All the parties involved, including a priest, reported that the screaming could not be heard or could be heard from the, all the windows within the home. But look at this. Wow. It's literally... Like the back of the couch rubbing against the I wall. mean, you could, if it somebody sat down... Could, like a lot, a lot, right? Yeah. But that's like a lot. You want to have a seat across from me? Sure. We're told that you could do things on command in this room. And that you've made things move for people. You've made your presence be known. We were told that there was a toy ghost in the corner of the room just hanging from a string. And many people have witnessed the apparitions and the entities of this home actually moving that ghost on command. I heard that you could spin that ghost over there on command. Can you make that ghost start moving? It's 100% still right now. If you start moving that, if you could rotate that ghost, that would be incredible if you could show us that you're here right now. Even the slightest little movement or turn would indicate that you're present with us. Hasn't also, moved at all. Something strange was captured just now. What? At first, it, what appears to be a car driving outside the window is proven to be something else entirely. What? Hold on. Also, just to not Oh, it is like orbs. It's inside the house. Which indicates whatever this is. Inside, not outside. Also... Mm, on top of that, if it was a car, the direction it passed from is a dead end cliff outside. So physically impossible to be a car. Interesting. Orbs? Could this have been an apparition captured on camera? Well, it looks like more orbs. It's like two ghosts. If there's someone in here present. Those dolls in the, over there are creepy too. Move this ghost in the corner. I don't even know that you can move that ghost in the corner. Oh yeah, piss it off. We've heard that you don't like being provoked. Yeah. Right. So. Um, and no disrespect, we're not trying to provoke you, but at the same time, um, <laughs> wow. You suck as a ghost if you can't move it. Did you see that? No. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. It's moving. Look! 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 In this house, there is no draft. There's no windows. And open. it wasn't moving at all. Did you see that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, there it goes. Look, look, look. It slowly starts to rotate it's on its right. own. I mean, that alone gives you goosebumps because what the hell was making that move? Um. Wow. It's moving. Did you see that? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, there it goes. It's moving. Look, look, look. So a little bit of provoking might be healthy. If you could really do something. I'd be like, you suck as a ghost. You saw that, right? 100%. Look, look. 
moving away from the high. So I moved a little. It's like it moved it, and then it was like, yeah, we're good. Put it on the back of the couch. We moved it a little bit. Yeah, it was close. There you go. What's it gonna be? I wonder if they've ever caught anything on this camera. There's a lot of stuff flying next to it, but it could be bugs. Definitely moved. Definitely did move. A few strange orbs were captured on the static camera while we were asking questions. Look again. We we did. <laughs> Saw them go that way. Or technically on this camera, it's this way. They have a lot of dream catchers. Not saying anything bad about dream catchers, but they got a lot. And then we heard footsteps from above us. Hundred dollars and a pack of cigarettes to anybody in this room that can move that <laughs> ghost. A pack of cigarettes. That's you making noise upstairs. Can you do it again? Can you do it down here? Ghost moved again. That's not creepy. Oh gosh, more dolls. I hate dolls. Hello. Oh, more. Is anybody weird. here with us? Can you? I wonder if they're actively living there. Let your presence be known. <clears throat> I feel like I would fall down those steps a lot. <clears throat> oh, so many dolls. Keep making noises if that's you. We continue asking questions upstairs and ran the yes, no prism, but no response. I need to get one of those. We did hear about the giving tree earlier. We grabbed some tobacco, and I think that we should go take a look. What do you think? The offering. You're offering tobacco? Yep. Here we fucking go. Excuse the French. That's a creepy path up there. Shit. No, it's so dark out here. And middle of the woods. 12 o'clock at night. In upstate Nobody New York. <laughs> that's usually the position that I find. Us oh, in. that's not the creepy. aspect of what we do when we're going into these wooded areas where Early in the season, they saw two baby bear cubs and a mama bear following behind it. Very aggressive type That's situation. That's scary there. in they itself. They have wombats. They have all sorts of very aggressive creatures up there. That's an unsettling thing as well. That danger is very, very real for us. Hey, bear. Gotta make yourself look bigger. What the fuck was I heard that? that. Not like, already, bro. Did you hear that? I did. 
What the fuck was that? Not already, bro. Not in the mood. We were shocked when we went up there and it went from absolute silence to sticks and bushes breaking and rustling noises all around us. If we encounter a bear while we're out here, I'm never doing another video that involves woods. Yeah. Yes, you will. I'm I'm keep point. your ears peeled. That's why you should probably bring a gun. Right in there. This would be a good time for a thermal camera. Bro. I'm tripping, bro. Me too. I'm tripping because you oh, guys are tripping. Do you? Yeah, there's a chair up there with a bunch of shit hanging off it. Oh, that's creepy. It's like something from Blair Witch. Oh, yes. Oh, that's a little creepy. This is trippy, man. Now, I'm very sensitive to a lot of emotional and energy changes and switches. And going into the woods, it almost felt like we were stepping into another paradigm again. Like, this is, this is where the darkness resides. So I got a whole bunch of offerings. You got all these different trinkets. Mm, excuse me. Is that a banana? Got like a whole glass bowl over here hanging with sage in it. That's it. Swear word. I heard that. I hear sticks like clapping. Is that together. a bow? It's like a Christmas tree, but for demons this place is a trip so let's make the offering is that an animal bone did someone offer it an animal where right there what is that it's like a skull or something is it? whoa that was me oh, Sorry. okay I break someone's offering that is a skull there's a coffin it's like a possum or something little coffin we're here to offer you the best of the best. The red men? Red man. All right, well, we've made our offering. And uh, hopefully you will make communication with us tonight. It's the only reason we're out here. You smell that? Smoke? No. What? Shit. Mm -mm. It smells like bear shit. Something big shit. Well... Smells like I'm about to get the fuck out of here now. <laughs> it's literally so dark, like even my flashlight is not really showing up on camera. So we should go for sure while we're out here then. Just check out that pond. Oh, the one next to the Did they not remember when that yeah, happened? The that, well, the one on the property. Colton told me we should definitely check out the lake because there were some bodies that were found in the lake. I wasn't really big and, and keen on the idea after, After last experience, <laughs> exactly, we had, I felt like had that one girl's face come out of the water. Bodies of water, or be close to the lake. You sure? Found, yeah. I mean, like at least over near it. She's saying the apparitions are seen. They have those pictures out there. The body parts are found in there. It's probably not a good idea. Good job, Colton. Good job. Right there. What is that? Is that a dock? Oh, yeah, it's some sort of like wild. It's like, going on that. <laughs> it's like the as same we thing over. The lake, this is eerily reminiscent of something we've experienced earlier this season. Yep. Well, they saw the woman's head come out of the water. I'm gonna walk out there. Okay. He's nuts. I'll be over here. <laughs> He's like, I'm done. Nope. The obvious pulls radio wave frequencies and energy from the surrounding area to convert into the words. This time it produced some very chilling Steve, results. Aqua, the plants. Steamy aqua and plants. It said Area. plants, aqua. Hey, was the aqua area surrounded by plants covered with steam? Coincidence? Oh gosh. Haunting. Alter haunting. That's. Oh, look at the steam. That's like a Jason Voorhees movie. 
I don't know how to describe it other than the most storybook esque <laughs> haunted say. horror flick. The fog that I can possibly explain to you. Oh my gosh. That's when you see Jason Voorhees across the river. If there's someone here that's present in the pond. Just so much fog. Ugh. You can barely see the water. Dude, look at all this fog. Just Ew. asking for it, my dude. We know. You smell that? Burp poop? It smells like sulfur. Black messenger. Bro. I heard the water move. Black and messenger after it just splashed. You know. You smell that? Sulfur. No. It smells like sulfur. What is Black messenger. Bro. Spirits tend to emit foul odors which can be similar to sulfur or decomposition. Is there any fish in there? That was like right on cue. We know. You smell that? No. It smells like sulfur. Black messenger. Bro. Coincidence? I know you heard that. Definitely was a trigger for me. Uh, having to go to another body of water after <laughs> what we had encountered. And one of the last investigations that we did. Some creepy woman head came out. Still don't know what it is. Hey, let's go back to the house. Okay. Is there we decided a to go back into the Hinsdale house. And as we had entered the living room, I noticed something absolutely horrifying. What? The door! The door of the doll. It's open. Look at this. It's like coming out. No, come here. Look at this. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Yeah. I have chills. That's it's not there. just open. It's like fucking hanging out. <laughs> I looked across the living room and I saw oh the case gosh. that the doll was in was actually open now. Look at this. No, come here. Look at this. And of course, somebody's going to be like, oh, they just moved it outside the box. Uh, I'm 100% positive that I closed the case. Looking at it, it's opened and the doll was moved. Too bad they have a camera put on it. It was 100% closed. I closed it. And that doll was way further back in there. This doll wants to play. I have goosebumps all over my body. I do, and I'm not even there. I feel like I feel like I should close it, right? I feel like you should just walk away. Don't touch it again! Just get some gloves. Pour some holy water on it. You'll be good. Oh, you done messed up. Oh, gosh. That shit was all the way out. Oh, gosh. They done messed up. Please don't bring out the Ouija board. Just leave it alone. Because sometimes they do bit that. Oh, excuse me. No. I think it is, bro. Oh, shit. Yeah, it just did it again. That is that fucking door right there, bro. To what? The basement? Give it a second. It's not too bad. Second, we said go down there, too. Do you want one? Not really. <laughs> I don't want to open it. He's taking one for the team. Keep door shut and locked. Thank you. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. That's not creepy. Hello? Coming down. Ooh. Dude, I don't know what it is about down here, man. It's probably all that electrical next to him that's just giving him off all the feelings. They're all exposed. Oh, that's gross. 
There's a dirt floor down there. That yeah, basement's not scary. Let's uh, let's find a place. Maybe we create a static camera over here. Mm -hmm. Aim this way. And put that on the ground, maybe. We'll put the night vision, right? Yeah, we'll put this on the ground. Mm -hmm. And maybe we'll put lights out, like pitch black down here. They are like nuts! You wanna go pitch black here in the demon basement? <laughs> <laughs> I kinda do. What do you think? I mean, yeah. As long as I'm not down here by myself. It was definitely a very strange and uncomfortable feeling. We cut off all the lights. We can't see anything. Can you show us that you're here with us, please? I know we've been a little bit, uh... Did you hear that? Yeah. Something just went over there like a click. It's so quiet. If that was you, can you please join us and show us that you're present? No. No. So, my name is Casey, and this my is Colton. Is Colton. We're here to be friends with you. We're not here to cause any problems or... I want that box. ...stress you out. Is it okay if you light up the other side for us? Can you light up the green side? If you step on the other side of the device, it'll light up green. Can you show us that you can actually communicate? Were you the one upstairs that was moving the ghost? I'm gonna try some. Okay. You have your phone with you? I do. Can I use it? Yeah. Here, keep this rolling so that we have audio and, and video. Okay. During the interview, we were told that many apparitions have been captured in photograph. Oh, he wants to take pictures. That's a creepy basement, man. Nothing yet. Are the spirits of the people found in the pond still on the premises? Have you crossed over to the other side? Or do you reside here still? No. So what did you just ask? I said, are the spirits of the people that were found in the pond? Do you still reside here? No. So it's no. something so else. It's not them. Are you a demon? Are you evil? One of the owners of this place mentioned that there might be a demon that lives in the basement. Are you a demon? Oh my gosh. Get the frick out, man. Are you an angry spirit? Uh. Do you know what angry means? Did you even know that you were a spirit? If it's a demon, can it be a spirit? Will you show yourself? Oh if I gosh! Keep taking pictures. Will you let it be known that you're here with us right now? A demon? I don't want to. I don't want to hunt demons. I want to. There's no light. Did it drain I've it? Never seen that before. And the fact that people say that there was a demon down here at one point, my eyes just kept gravitating to these same areas, just waiting to catch something out of the corner of my vision. I would be terrified. I've never seen it not light up. I just want to... Oh, no. No? I just want to capture ghosts. There's something I don't, weird going on down I don't here, for sure. do demons. Do you hear that? I wonder if it's picking up something in the crawl space up there. Yes. Yeah. Yes, a lot of my attention subconsciously was going to the crawl space. If we put 
the prism in the crawl space. Oh, no, that's creepy. That. Oh yeah, let's go take pictures of the creepy tunnel. <sighs> that's a lot of foam. And why did you see something crawling out of it? What are you picking up in the crawl space? One's better. Hmm. So it was talking intelligently, but then stopped. What's the next test? Please don't tell me Ouija board. Please don't say Ouija board. One thing that we definitely wanted to do at this location was a blind spirit box session. Okay. That's now method. Colton had agreed he would be the one inside the house. I was going to go outside of the house. And I would communicate with him through He's the phone on speaker. No one should ever feel comfortable going into a situation like a blind spirit box in a well-known haunted location that has had exorcisms performed on it. He obviously couldn't hear what I was saying. He had the spirit box headphones in. He had the earmuffs over his ears that were muting out everything else around him. And he had a blindfold on. Not only that, but I actually left him in pitch black oh darkness. Oh gosh. All right, you ready to be in uh, pitch black? I would be afraid to get in touch. This made it even more scary, knowing that Casey was going to be outside, locked in the truck, however many yards away from the house. He's by himself. While I'm in here by myself next to this doll that is completely off limits to touch. And yeah. it had already moved once throughout the night on its own. I felt scared for him when I walked outside. Then why'd you do it? Blind in the dark. Oh boy. Is whatever spirit is present when it's moving the ghost in the room. Okay. Okay. Children. Is whatever presence is here evil? Beyond. As I sit there, I'm extremely uneasy. I almost like can't sit still. I feel like Something's going to touch me or something's going to pull on me. <laughs> and I feel. started hearing no. really clear words coming through the spirit box. Are you upset that Colton is in there right now by himself? Maybe so. What is keeping you here? What is keeping you attached to this home? Distress. Is there more than one spirit? Oh, I went down it. Here? Oh, yes. There's multiple, How many? but Can one's you give me strong. A direct number. Is there more than eleven one present here? Oh yes. How many? Can you give me a? I'm guessing eleven. Number? <gasps> 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 the door opened up. <gasps> Oh my god! I the door. It's like a If that doll moves, dude. Last thing. Had I known that that case had opened next to me, I would have probably bolted out of the building. I'm I'm hyperventilating for him. No string, no nothing. Oh my gosh, I'm hyperventilating for him. Last thing. Hasty. Hasty. Yeah. If you would like us to leave this place hastily. Out of. I'm watching for it to move. Don't you move. Let's go see. Oh my gosh, it opened up the door. Let's go get him. Backward. Let's go get him. Oh no. Mike, hi. Fresh. He's still going at it.
He couldn't get in. Holy shit. It's like someone tried to lock me out. Shortened. Bro, does he not see the door? Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Great. He jumped. Good. Dude, that always fucks me up. Sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. I felt the fucking ground move before you touched me, like this split second. Yeah, the door. This place was cerebrally horrifying for me. There was <laughs> this on edge feeling going into it the entire time carrying through. There this was, was a no good safety one. Or like safe area that we could find in the house where we felt comfortable. We did do a lot more tests while we were at this property. But they didn't work. And it seemed like the main things that we were able to capture while we were there was a little bit of movement. We watched that ghost move on command more than one time. And we know that there's something going on with that doll in the living room. To anybody that does go to this location and tries to do an overnight investigation, I would highly recommend maybe don't open that case. I'm not sure if, if what you we done did while up, we were there, there may have caused some type of disturbance, but we're there to get evidence. We're there to get proof. We're there to capture some kind of activity. But not bring it home something. Every now and then we're willing to do what we have to do to go the extra mile see if we can get something on camera. I definitely think this place is haunted. I recommend it to anybody that's interested in this field and wants to catch some legitimate activity. Not by myself. It's <laughs> not just one area of this home that has got this crazy energy going on. It's literally acres, hundreds of acres of property. I feel like this home is definitely haunted. There's things happening there that can't be explained. And I feel like um, ultimately it paid off. Another good one by my TV. Hopefully you guys enjoyed as much as I did, including when the door opened up. I was not expecting that. Make sure you guys comment down below what you guys think. If you guys think this is real, fake, fact, fiction, whatever have you. Even though if it may be fake, if it, whatever have you, I don't care. It is super creepy. I mean, we didn't see any string. We didn't see any cuts or anything like that. So... Please keep the comments a little bit positive, but let me know what you guys' opinion. Make sure you guys also leave a like for the video because it definitely helps the channel when you guys hit that like button. It's free, including the subscribe button. So make sure you guys hit that and then don't forget to um, go over to MindCTV and give them some love as well. But without further ado, uh, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Keep it real, keep it safe, and as always, keep nerding on, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.